What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through the Invasion Shanks fight that happens at the end of Chaos Difficulty Coliseums. Now there are some free-to-play teams that beat Invasion Shanks. The best one is a Sabo Log Luffy team. Uh, those you're going to either need to fight a pretty easy Coliseum in order to get past them or get very, very lucky with your orbs or whatever fight you're doing. Uh, so we're going to be using a double Blackbeard team and this happened on T-Bone Coliseum, so you can use this team to farm T-Bone and Invasion Shanks. Stage 1 of Invasion Shanks, you're gonna see all these guys. Now the three characters up front, one of those are where you want to stall on turn 1. The guy with the good hit barrier attacks every 2 turns for 6,700. The great hit barrier attacks every 3 turns for 10,600. And the perfect hit barrier on the bottom right attacks every three turns for 14,000. So ideally, you want to stall on the one in the middle, that great hit barrier. But you can also stall on the perfect hit barrier, which will also give you some extra time to... Uh, the, the perfect hit barrier guy sometimes has a four turn cooldown to start, like I did right here. Otherwise, he might have a three turn timer, and that means you might as well just stall on the great hit barrier. Now stage 2 is where we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of stalling. Take down the two guys on the outside. The Int Gunner in the back, he has 20 hit points and he will bind your side characters for 7 turns. So let him attack, let him bind your characters. I will accidentally kill him next turn instead of leaving him alive so I lose one turn of stalling but it's not too important. The turtle has 15 hit points and attacks every two turns for just under 18,000. Uh, so you can stall for four turns on a turtle if you have a four hit combo character. And you can also heal up while look, getting some food orbs. Try and look for food on the, the int character on the back and the turtle here. And heal up whatever you can. Remember with a double blackbeard team you can't reduce damage taken. So a double Blackbeard, we're just going to be relying on our heal per turns and any food orbs we find. By the time we get into the next stage, our Golden Pound Usopp should be ready, because we are going to be using Golden Pound Usopp immediately against Lucky Roo. Lucky Roo has 470,000 hit points. He will attack every 3 turns for 15,000 damage, but we want to kill him ASAP. So try to find yourself an Int Orb on your Magellan if at all possible. Otherwise, attack him with everything you've got. Hopefully you have some matching orbs. And if you kill him, he will no longer, uh, the buffs that he brings, that heal per turn and the 20% health cut at the end of each turn will go away. Uh, so if you don't kill him, you will take an additional 20% health cut at the end of each turn. Look for some food, heal up, and stall out some more turns against Lucky Roo. These guys here uh, will attack for 5,000 damage every turn, but it's not too important. Uh, remember with double Blackbeard team, that your Blackbeard Captains do boost your hit points and you will lose all that hit point boost against Shanks' preemptive despair for 5 turns. So we are only looking to keep about half of our health and since I'm using a Whitebeard ship, that half of your health can... Uh, you'll start at half health so you can try to heal up a lot. No nice thing about the Blackbeard ship is that our Marco can heal us all the way up to that 50,000 and give us a few more turns to punch Shanks in the face. Ben Beckman will cut our health by 20% and blind us for 4 turns. This is where you'll see me make lots of poopsy mistakes. If you hit your perfects, you can take out uh, Ben Beckman or at least take out the 3 characters in the back. If you get some good matching orbs and hit perfects, you can take out Ben Beckman. Or if you don't, take the 3 guys out in the back first. Ben Beckman will attack on turn 2 for 15,000 and after that he'll attack every single turn for 10,000. And here I don't kill Ben Beckman, I don't kill the guys in the back, they hit for 6,000, he hits for 15,000 and I take tons of damage. So you can actually get through this fight with a lot less damage taken than I will. No, I'm sorry, Ben Beckman will, um, <clears throat> uh, once you get rid of the blind, you don't have to worry about it, you can go ahead and push into Shanks with the blind kill him as soon as possible. There's his enrage, so he attacks every single turn instead, and he will attack. He will boost his attack by 1.5 times during the enrage, so make sure you take him down very, very quickly. There you go, that's the 1500, and we actually got the uh, 5 or the 6 plus skull right there for 6 plus Whitebeard. Very lucky. Shanks has 
3.7 million hit points. He'll preemptively despair and silence both of your captains for five turns. So use. Uh, actually, I should not have used Golem on Usopp here. I should have used. Or if we if we got the, if my Magellan was not silenced, you could use Magellan there instead to just delay by one turn. Shanks will clear bust, so you can't really use Magellan to get some damage out. He's just here to satisfy our conditions of Blackbeard Captain mostly, and also to delay by one turn to save us one punch. You want to use your Golempot Usopp on turn three because that's when he does not clear bus. Shanks will attack for 9,200 damage every turn. Turn one, he shuffles orbs and clears all bus and debuffs. Turn two, he paralyzes one turn and clears all bus and debuffs. And then he doesn't do anything except for attacking on turn three and turn four, he'll repeat it. So turn three is where you want to use Golem Pound Usopp in order to get an extra turn of stalling off. So that way Shanks does not skip just one attack, but he'll skip two attacks if you use him, if you uh, use your Golem Pound Usopp at the right time. Now this also means that on turn three, is where you want to use your Marco if you want to get two turns of Marco's orb boost off. Uh, so you can use Marco's orb boost for two turns if you use that when Shanks is not going to clear buffs. Now we don't have a tight booster on this team that I'm using right here. So our only damage is going to be from Doflamingo's orb boost whenever we're doing our big burst. And we will have enough health to take a bunch of hits and use Blackbeard, both of Blackbeard's Captain's special ability. So we're gonna get Shanks to around 50% health as close as we can without being him below 50%. I mean below 30% sorry because below 30% Shanks will despair and silence both of your captains for seven turns He will clear all buffs and debuffs and he will silence two random characters for two turns So if you get him below 30% you're probably going to be dead So our only goal here is to attack him as many times as possible use your Marco whenever you need to and then when on your last turn alive, use your Doflamingo, or if you have the damage for it and know you can do it, then you'll use your Doflamingo. Besides that, it's all about punching, getting some good orb luck, and um, hopefully get some good ones on your strong characters. Remember that even though Golem Pound Uzop is a side character, the increased attack from all of our other characters, like Doflamingo has more than twice of Golem Pound Usopp's attack, so even though Golem Hunt Usopp is Psy, if he has a matching orb and Doflamingo has a matching orb, you might as well end on your Doflamingo's attacks instead. Now, if you were confused about who to attack with, you can go to the database in the video description down below, put in your team to see how much damage you can do, and uh, also play with uh, which orders and which characters you can use to attack. Now, on uh, also to note, on this team right here, you could use a Blackbeard special earlier than I'm using them because I'm using them on the final turn. You could use one early to cut his health more, but that does mean you have to burst a little bit more at the end. And I am I was worried about my damage looking for some matching orbs. Missing one matching orb, but that's okay. Just going to attack in order. And we'll bring down Shanks. Lots of health from 6-star Blackbeard. And a decent team, even though I did lose a lot of damage by messing up my Ben Beckman attack. Now the second team we're going to be going over is the Double Againu team. And this is versus Colosseum Zephyr. Double Againu versus Colosseum Zephyr. We're going to be using the Tom's wor uh, the Rocket Man ship. Tom's Worker's ship. The Rocket Man ship is not necessary, but it does help out a lot if you're using a team exactly like mine because it will give you some extra healing and you, you don't need as much heal per turn, but with the heal per turn sockets you are you can take so much damage and you can heal so easily with this team. Uh, if you do not have a bunch of powerhouse characters, you can swap out a few characters here, like you don't really need the white beard. White beard can be swapped out with an orb manipulator or a health cutter like Hack or a Blimbenko or something like that. And Sanji can be swapped out with Stronghold Luffy or any other type booster. Now turn one, you want to take down the same guys that we talked about earlier, leave the great guy alive or the perfect guy alive. And here, since my perfect and my great characters are, or both perfect combo and the great combo characters have the same turns, we're gonna take out the perfect combo guy, or the perfect barrier guy and install on the great, and just take the 10,000 damage from him. Look for your orbs, shuffle your, or attack with all your characters, look for some recovery orbs every single turn, and then move forward. Remember, since we are taking percent health cuts later on, that your health you can leave on the lower half of your health instead of trying to come out completely at full HP. 
Same strategies for stalling as the first team with Blackbeard, is that we're going to be stalling a lot in stage 1, a little more in stage 2, and then a little... And then we're just gonna go through stage three with Glow. Uh, we're gonna go through stage three, killing Lucky Rue in the first turn, and Ben Beckman is Dex, which means he crumbles so easily against this team. So, like I said, with Tom's workership, ship, you have a lot of healing. So I'm gonna be healing for 1,400 every turn, trying to find some recovery orbs, and letting my health drop down and stalling as much as I like. The Akai News don't really have any skill ups yet. Since there are no books, we have to rely on Universal Tomes, so they are going to require a monstrous 25 turns in order to be ready. But also remember that since Shanks is going to silence both of our captains for 5 turns, I actually can't really use my guy new specials. Uh, they might as well be a 20 turn special and I can go into Shanks with them being at 20 turns. So I am stalling a little bit more than necessary here with this particular team. Turn 2, just as before, take out the guys on the outside. I don't have a side character, so I'm just going to kill the dude right there. Attack you with my characters, looking for some recovery orbs. And then the turtle, once again, has 15 hit points. Unkainu is incredibly, incredibly strong, guys. He is so good. He's insanely good. And... He just makes quick work of Shanks. Remember to use the damage calculator to find out exactly how much damage your team can do. So that way whenever you get to fights like Shanks, you know how much health you need to bring him at to actually burst him down. Now with the Akainu team, I actually will be paying attention to Shanks' health to try not to do too much damage to him in a single turn or uh, try not to get him below that 30% barrier because I don't want to kill him. Uh, well, I don't want him to despair and silence both my captains. That will be... A big danger. Plus Whitebeard special also shuffles orbs, which is nice. They do benefit from the captain boost that Akainu gives to strength orbs. So even though Whitebeard is a random shuffle, or because Whitebeard is random shuffle, it benefits from the Akainu's increased rate of red orbs. Lucky Rue, we're going to kill him right now. There he goes. There also goes this his 20% health cut. Remember that Akainu's red orbs also greatly, greatly boost the damage of any characters that have red orbs on them. So that Marco with a red orb is going to do way more damage than Marco with a blue orb. And Sanji with a red orb is actually going to do a little bit more damage than Sanji with a green orb. But since his health is, I mean, his, his attack is cut in health with that red orb not being matching, it is not going to be as strong. But Marco will get the most damage out of a red orb, not out of a blue orb. And the same applies for every single character. Ben Beckman only has 422,000 hit points, easily dies to the Akainu team with just a few orbs. You can use the Tom's Worker sh or, the, or the Rocket Man ship whenever you like. You can use it to take out Ben Beckman if you somehow get some really match badly matching orbs. You can use it to help take out Lucky Rue. Uh, I, Lucky Rue is probably the place you are going to need to use it if somehow you need damage on the double Akainu team, but it's Akainu. He's ridiculous. I mean, you can basically use almost anybody with him if you've got the health to tank some hits from Shanks. So here we go. Shanks is going to despair both of our captains and silence them. We're not really going to be able to use their specials since we don't have any way to stall Shanks out. So we're going to just be using Marco to heal whenever it's convenient. Kuma and a powerhouse Sanji boost at the same time. And then Whitebeard to cut his health right before we do our burst. So you can use Whitebeard early too. But we're gonna save that Whitebeard for later on since I don't have we won't have any problem bringing Shanks down low. 3.7 million hit points is not that bad whenever your regular attacks can hit for over 500,000 damage without using any specials at all. So we're just gonna save some orbs while we're despaired, or we might as well punch. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm choosing to punch. I can also uh, with with just attacking, you can also hope to get a bunch of recovery orbs. And don't forget that a guy needs captain ability boosts your rate of red orbs by a pretty decent amount each one, and it does stack with two of them. So here I'm using Marco to heal, and we'll try to attack and get whatever damage we can off. Since this is turn three of Shanks, he's not going to clear our orb boost next turn, so I am going to benefit from the orb boost next turn as well. Paralyze, paralyze. Keep the orbs for next turn. And then we are going to attack here and then use Whitebeard 
and Sanji and Kuma specials all next turn because we can still take one more hit from the Shanks. So where he's right at half health, take a hit, and then burst him down. And here, that only that just about two million hit points he has left seems so little whenever you're using the great power of Double Guy New Team. Guys, I'm Zinigami. Good luck against your own Shanks invasion fights. Remember that in Shanks invasion and the Whitebeard invasion fights are where you can get your skulls for six plus six star Whitebeard. And we'll see where else skulls show up whenever new 6 plus characters come out. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful.